Morning, Liz. Good morning. Would you say your name and how long you've been at Asbury? My name is Elizabeth Miles, and I've been a member of Asbury Methodist Church since its very beginning. Okay. And tell me, where were you born? I was born in Caldwell, Kansas. Kansas? Were you raised on a farm or in town? I was raised on a farm, very definitely. And what was it like? It was a farm where we raised a lot of wheat, so we had all kinds of farm equipment, the usual animals. It was just a real rural country life. Did you have any brothers and sisters? I had one brother and one sister. And do you have a favorite hymn? I can't say that I actually have a favorite hymn, but of course, I lean more to the old, old style. In other words, uh, raised up uh, learning the songs that children sing. And well, I've had favorites through the years, but then they've been replaced as new ones came along. Mm -hmm. Do you have one right now? One right now, I think, would be how great their art, really. Excellent. What about scripture? Do you have a favorite scripture? Through the years, the 23rd Psalm is something that I have stuck with, but I learned that when I was young, and so I've carried it through. I can't really say it's so much a favorite, but as the years have gone by, I've learned new ones, and certain scriptures have replaced the others. Recently, in the upper room, the 100th Psalm stood out a little bit, and so I have uh, been reading it a little more often and thinking about it. Hmm. Very good. Well, can you, can you tell us something about what the early days of Asbury were like? Early days of Asbury meant that we would meet in homes. On 26th Street, out in Everroad Park, between the roads of Griffa and Mar Road, there were three families. Three, no, I think there were four families who lived on 26th Street. So for our first church services in Sunday school, we met in the homes. Sunday school would maybe be in one home, church would be in another home. So parking was a problem, and I imagine some of those neighbors were not pleased, but we never had any complaints. How long was it before the first Asbury building was put up? Well, there were some times that we met in a room down at First Methodist Church, too. That, uh, that might have led, from the time we started meeting in the Hearns and the Harrises and the, the other homes, probably a year and a half, two years, what are some of the ways that you have served at Asbury? Actually, it, it involved in most every one of us who were members serving on a committee. And I can remember being on the finance committee. But then as years went past, I was the Sunday school teacher and served in other capacities. Uh, trustees, United Methodist Women, Probably, I was a little more active in the United Methodist Women over a period of years than any other one of the positions. 
So you've been busy. What, what is a favorite memory of yours about Asbury? Well, when I knew you were going to ask that question, I thought about that. And I think it's the people who have come and gone. They have brought such talents here and the activity, uh, their participation was just a joy to, to have here. Very good. Um, were you married here? No. no. What about your children? Uh, my son was married here. What is a change that's happened at Asbury that you particularly appreciated? Changes came, of course, as we built new additions, mm -hmm. and it brought uh, a much more pleasant way to have activities going on each time a new addition was brought. But most recently, but yet not just real recently, we've been singing songs rather than singing maybe the first verse or the first, second, and third, we've been singing all of the verses of the songs. And I think that's a change that wasn't really planned as a change, but that's what I thought of recently. Is there, is there any other memory or anything else that you want to say about you know, your experience at Asbury and hopes for the future? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's just a comfort to be able to come to church every Sunday morning and know that the people are here that have pre prepared the service for us. I think we uh, share a, a, a great companionship here, and it has lasted throughout the years.